Hey everyone, welcome back to the brand new video. As you just saw, this is the animation we are going to create today. And the video is going to be really exciting because I have explained everything step by step in detail. So basically this type of animation is commonly used in documentary edits. So you can use it in your own project. Plus all the assets I use in this video are linked in the description box. So you can easily download them. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. So firstly we gonna add a background this is a basically a wooden table background so we simply scale the background size and then we gonna add a effect called black and white enable the tint option and also you can decrease the redness so we get a darker color and now we gonna add a vignette increase the amount of vignette so we get a dark edges and also you can play with angles and all according to your need and then set your tint color into a dark orange color something like this and one more thing is you don't need to worry about the pack because i already downloaded all these assets which we're gonna use in this video like this character image blood effect and all kind of fonts so the assets linked in the description box go and check it out now add this paper image then scale the size according to your frame then add a effect called lumentary color and go to the basic correction and then adjust the exposure and black until you get a perfect color match so why we do this because we need a darker theme so we achieve a similar theme according to our background also keep in mind this always rename your layer so that we can easily identify our layer and after all of this add a drop shadow to your layer and now adjust the setting according to your layer until you get a real touch after you done this add a knife image right here and adjust the size right now i am adjusting like this and add a lumentary color again go to the basic correction and decrease the exposure so we can match this with our background and now i add a leaf image and adjust this right here and also i add a another flower image and i adjust this in a left corner and then I add a drop shadow so we can get a shadow effect increase the distance and softness similar like this and simply copy this drop shadow or paste it in the second image and right now I am adjusting the size according to me so now we have this blood hand image so we get a criminal theme vibe in our video you can simply place this two three areas by just duplicating this but keep in mind we need to match the dark theme so you can increase or decrease the opacity according to the theme so here's the main part to our video firstly create a square shape layer and place it to the center after this go to the fill option and set a little bit darker color and make a another shape layer between our white shape layer just like this select all of your layer and make a pre-compose go to the pre-compose let me make it bigger now it's perfect now go to the fill option set your gray color into a dark orange color just like this here we get our frame now we simply add a image and adjust it according to the frame now simply track mate this to your shape layer and enable your shape layer now add a effect called tint and change the white color to the complete black so we get a black mascot now click the shape layer go to the fill option and go to the radial gradient and increase the area like this so go to the fill option and change the first color to little bit brown like this you can also copy the hex code and change the second color to darker than first one like this so now let me adjust the character size first and now our first frame is ready back to your main composition and add a drop shadow in our layer increase the distance and softness according to the layer and also you can play with the opacity and let's rename our layer first we're gonna rename it like victim 1 And now right click your layer go to the reveal option and and click the layer source in project and now duplicate your layer while pressing ctrl d and drag your layer in your timeline and now select the new layer and place it in the left side now go to the pre-comp layer and we can replicate the previous style 
विथ अ न्यू कैरेक्टर इमेज सो नाउ दिस टाइम वी हैव ए टू फ्रेम बट वी नीड एन ऑदर वन सो वी अगेन एप्लीकेट द मैथड and now after all of this done go to your victim one layer and copy the drop shadow and paste it in both of our layers by pressing control v so now change the name of your layers so that we can easily identify him adjust your layers as i am adjusting it now So now our frame is almost done. We just need to add animations. So when we go for animation, firstly we add a vignette to our paper layer because we need to maintain darker theme. So that's why we add a vignette to our paper layer. So select all of your layers and convert them into a 3D object by pressing this icon. Now add a camera layer and click OK. Then go to your camera settings and make a keyframe in position and point of interest select all of your keyframes and move it little bit forward like this and add a zoom by dragging position keyframe like this after all of this done select all of your keyframe press f9 for making smoother animation i am using this flow preset and you can also go with the graph editor and make a graph like this otherwise you can also use flow plugin also enable the motion blur option now it's look like this right now we need to add animation in our photo frame so we use premiere composer you can also use this plugin so firstly we add a bottom animation for our layer 1 it will look like this So for this time we animate our victim to layer we use same present but the starting animation it's gonna be left side Now adjust the layer and animation speed according to your frame so for this time i am adjusting layer like this and for victim 3 layer we again use same present but the starting animation gonna be right side For this time i am adjusting my layer position and animation speed according to my imagined animation So where's your last keyframe are ended add a one more keyframes a little bit further then add another one more keyframe next to it then zoom in more on your layer like this then just right click and add a toggle hold in your both layers it is called a jump cut so that's why we add a toggle hold So for this time add another keyframe and select all of your keyframes and make it easy is so we can remove toggle hold and animate your keyframe while dragging point of interest like this right now i am doing Now select all of your keyframes and apply this flow present it will look like this but it's a little bit fast so we move our last keyframe little bit further so we get a smooth animation place your indicator right here and keep in mind don't move this and go to your victim one layer and add a text right now i'm adding a text called missing now select your text and go to the fill option and set your fill into a dark red color so as you can see i am doing all this step without moving my indicator so this is for we can easily understand our text positioning So trim your text layer according to your indicator and go to the premiere composer and add a fade in effect like this. Now it's look like this. After you satisfied with your text animation, just go to the victim one layer and copy your text layer. and simply go back to your main composition and go to your victim 2 layer and paste it right here and change the text according to your animation 
and go back to your main composition and it will look like this. And when your camera focused on your third frame, just simply go back to your victim 3 layer and again paste the text layer and change the text according to your animation. Now our 80% animation is almost done and, and we just need to add 2-3 more things. So just add another keyframe right here. And move your timeline little bit further and add one more keyframe next to it. This time zoom out your layer and adjust your animation according to the frame. Now select both of your keyframes and add a toggle hold in your keyframes. So it will look like this and we add another jump cut. So overall our animation look like this. When your animation are at end, simply move your timeline and place next to it. Now go to the victim 1 layer and trim your text according to your indicator. And then copy your text and place it right here. And change the text right here I am changing who's next. And it's look like this. Simply add a little bit zoom. So we get a cinematic touch in our animation. After this go to the beginning of your animation and create a adjustment layer and add a effect called fast blur. Increase the value of fast blur and add a keyframe to blur radius and go to your adjustment layer setting and move your timeline little bit further and add a keyframe and change the value of blur radius to 0. Select all of your keyframes and press F9 it's look like this after that add a question mark text in your character layer and for this I am using that font called another danger now set the question mark between your character face like this and then copy your question mark text layer and back to your main composition and paste it both of your remaining layers. Now I add a text like tricks present. You can add whatever you want. And for this time I am using this font called inter regular. And select your font and change your color into white. Adjust the text value according to your need. Then I duplicate the text and change the name into cry to that. So select your text and change the font into this. I am using this font. You can easily find this font in my pack. And simply change the color to dark red. Like this. And then select your text and add a drop shadow. Play with the drop shadow setting. Increase the softness and distance. Also increase the opacity into 100%. Now adjust all the frame like images and text according to your need. According to your frame. Until you get a perfect one. Alright, I made few changes. Firstly, I changed this text and also this one. Like this one. And also I changed the text positioning like this. And also I pre-compose this paper layer. Why I am doing this? Because we need to add little bit blood. We import our blood PNG like this. And scale the value according to your paper. And right click your PNG and go to the blending mode and make it multiply. Also decrease the opacity so we get a real effect. Now it will look like this.
so as you can see i am using two more text first is mexico second is cartel king so firstly we go for cartel king and select the word cartel and set the color into red and then adjust the text positioning according to your frame now lastly we duplicate this hand image place it above the mexico text increase the opacity to 100% and trim your layer till here and add a keyframe to your scale and move your keyframe little bit forward and increase the value of your scale like this and also give keyframe to opacity and animate like this now select all of your keyframes and go to the graph editor and animate the graph like this So it feels little bit slow. Let me adjust my keyframe until we get a perfect match. Now it's good and perfect. So our overall animation looks like this. And lastly, we add a gun image like this one. Decrease the size and adjust the value according to your theme and place it right here. So that is for today guys. I hope you found it helpful and learned something new. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.